Hello and welcome to time series forecasting. In this video, I'll talk about how to forecast uh, a time series by using the decomposition methods that I discussed so far. So my primary purpose uh, so far was to decompose a time series into trend cycle component, in seasonal component and in the remainder component. Now the primary purpose of uh, decomposing a series into various components is to understand the series and explore any historical changes over time that can be used uh, in building a forecasting model. But we can also use these decomposition methods to forecast uh, a time series. If we decide to use uh, these decomposition methods to forecast, we forecast the seasonal component and the seasonally adjusted components separately. For the seasonal component, we use the seasonally naive method and uh, for the seasonally adjusted component, we can use any other non-seasonal forecasting method such as uh, ETS, ARIMA, etc. I'll talk about these two methods in the future. So essentially the goal here is to use these decomposition methods to decompose a time series into three of its components and then forecast the seasonal and the seasonally adjusted components uh, separately. Now let's go to R and work with an example. For this example, I'm going to use the same example of electric equipment data that I showed you in my previous video. And here I'm going to use this function called uh, STL forecast function. So STL is the decomposition method that I'm using here to decompose my time series into three of its components. And then I'm forecasting uh, the seasonal component uh, by using uh, the seasonally naive method and for the seasonally adjusted uh, component by using uh, the naive method. In this example, I'm using the naive method for forecasting the seasonally adjusted uh, component. But you can also use ETS that I'll introduce you in the next chapter. And then you can also use ARIMA models. Those are some of the most powerful models of uh, time series forecasting. Uh, let's save uh, these results uh, and then uh, have a look at these results. So these are our forecast uh, for electric equipment. We can easily go ahead and uh, plot all these forecasts and get uh, the confidence intervals along with the forecasts as well. So looking at these forecasts, it seems like uh, this method is not doing a very good job shown by these huge confidence intervals. Essentially, uh, the decomposition methods are primarily used to decompose a time series into different components, but uh, you can also use these uh, methods to forecast as well. But in this case, uh, this method is not doing a good job. You can see and try if uh, you can get better forecast for your own data. So that is how you use STL decomposition method to forecast any time series. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.